No new drone Air 3S without an obstacle avoidance test through this course where I've put many of the other drones uh, through. I'm here at uh, my father's place and uh, I'm going to unpack uh, the Air 3S, fire it up and then walk through this passage uh, just to see how well it performs. I've done that with uh, all of the previous drones. I did that with the Air 3. I have done it with the Mini 4 Pro, the Mini 3 Pro. I also did it with the Neo. But now it's time to put the Air 3 S to the test. I can do it, so you don't have to, because DJI did send me this unit for review. Let's get on with this. Nej, nej, jeg hovedet ikke. Det er ingenting med dig at gøre. Nej, 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 jeg hovedet ikke. God dag. Så det guy, he was worried that I was standing here filming him. <laughs> okay, så so let's get the drone unpacked and uh, get ready for some action. So, now we are ready and the drone is airborne. Let's just go in here for a start. Get the drone in here with me. So just make sure that uh, the screen recorder is running and uh, all the sensors are there. So let's just go in the menu here and see whatever we can make sure that the units focus track setting, vehicle person, camera motion, near ground. Just want to enable the near ground option. Let's see what else we have here. It's a very, very tight area. Luckily, it's a low light. <laughs> it's low light capable. <laughs> so just mark this, mark me, then it recognizes me. And you can see that all the sensors are blipping and bopping all over the place here. So let's just jump in here again and then go to the near ground. Want the camera out of height. You want to set that for four meters. Yeah, and the inner, yeah, okay, that's probably fine. So uh, we have five meters on the outer perimeter and we have two meters on the inner. So let's see here. This one needs to stay a little bit closer to me, like seven meters. And what is the low one? Keep that maybe four meters apart from me. Okay, so let's try with this setup. So, so right now we just put it on active track. And it's going backwards there. I don't know what it's doing. See? Okay. So let's just make it follow along. We can start a little bit video here. Let's see. I can film so you can see what it's doing. <laughs> so let's just go here. So this part should be fairly easy for it to do that. I would expect if we are increasing the difficulty, which we will here in a short while, that the drone will stop. So now we are in the open area here. What is it doing? Oh, oh, so there it was actually touching the branches. And in this case, the lighter will not help it. So let's just put it here in the front. So now it's moving towards the front of me. This has always been one of the weak spots of uh, DJI drones. That is uh, to keep sort of the position in the front when you're moving forward. And I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> Maybe you can see something with the camera, I don't know. <laughs> so, staying there in the front of me. So the next challenge that we have here is that we need to go through this hole over there. So I, I kind of wonder if uh, how that will work. 
Just put it here behind me. And maybe we should lower the altitude a little bit. So, all right. So let's go through this. These are rather tough conditions, I gotta say, because this is a huge drone. See what it's doing? Can it go through here? Probably. <laughs> Man. It's working on it. It's not very happy about it. That's for sure. So let's see. If it can. Maybe it's just me that needs to move. No. It refuses to go in here. So now I think we will stop it. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can make it do it. So, active track. See, I don't think I can make it go through this passage. <laughs> I don't think this is a very good idea to make it go through here. So we just stop it and move. Just fly it. So fly, fly, fly. Woo! So now it will land. Don't need to land. So, so now we are on the other side of this passage. So, so that was too much. I guess the sensors were just making sure that, you see they're also glowing uh, red. So the sensors are making sure that we don't collide with anything, so. Ooh -hoo. I really, really hope the drone survives this. I gotta be honest with you guys and say I don't feel the same confidence doing this route now as I did with the, the other ones. So let's see if I can. I did go over here at some point with the Neo to increase the difficulty. I don't know if this will do it. A little bit the same issue I had down there, so let's just do another route here. Woo. Come on! <laughs> I put my hand on the brake button. <laughs> ah, there's a lot of apples here. So this way, it's going through. Yeah, there's there's no doubt that it's, it will not be capable of going through the narrow places where I went with the meal. So now I'm pretty confident that it will follow along. See, if I can stop the video here. No, I can only use the wide angle lens for this uh, tracking here. Yeah, so this is the way to switch it. So I basically need to abort the tracking. So let's just see what happens if I do that. I will stay out here in the open. <laughs> it looks significantly more crazy. It's much, much further away doing this. So I think we will, I don't know. I just do a little bit of tracking. So, that's going on the other side. <laughs> I must say that I will feel more confident if I put the drone closer to me. So let's just stop this and take away the tracking. 
and then we will go through this over there, <laughs> the final stretch into the garden. Put it back to wide angle, glide closer to me. Hello, my friend. Ah. So put it in this position, select me. I could have selected the, the plus sign instead of just uh, marking me as a square, but uh, now I did that. So I can change a little bit here on the dial here so I make sure that I get the settings that I want. I think we're ready now to perform the final stretch. Video on. We do the the thingy here. Let's just show what see what. Hey, I don't like it. <laughs> this hack to track 360. I really don't like it. Usually doing what I'm telling it to do, but sometimes it does something really, really weird. Let's just get it closer, further down. So now it's coming down. Down, 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 down. We put it close to the ground like this. What you saw there shortly was that uh, if uh, the drone gets too close to the ground, it will actually start uh, to so. try and land. Fly, fly, fly. Woo! So. So now it will land, see what it's doing. So, can it find me? Yes, it's finding me. It's still following along, doing a better job here. Maybe we should try this route instead. Just to see. Oh, now we are close to having Not enough juice to complete this. Let's just go down here. There's a lot of challenging uh, light conditions here. I'm just waiting for it to say. <laughs> See, so far, so far we are doing okay. So, let's see. There will be a problem down here, that's for sure. Once I get to this point down here, I will run into problems. I know I will. Ay, 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 ay. It's very close. We got it so far, so I don't want to wreck it. So let's fly it forwards here. Woo! That's the problem, if you only have one hand. I need the motion controller. <laughs> Let's see if I can fly through this opening here. Because now it's starting to complain a lot. See if I can fly it through here. No! No, I can't. So, and right now I'm running out of battery, so, so I just landed here. So this was a test of uh, the yeah, obstacle avoidance uh, for this uh, Air 3 uh, S. I just landed here. Ah, come on. <laughs> I should have picked a better spot. So this was a sort of a short obstacle avoidance test that I usually do with the drones that I'm getting here on the channel. And uh, it's not as uh, fluent, that's for sure. It's definitely not as fluent as uh, the Mini and uh, some of the other drones, but they are also smaller drones and uh, they are probably more agile than this one. This one does require a bit more space to operate. That is for sure. So, but I managed to do it without destroying the drone. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see here, it's, there's a lot of obstacles here. So, also here. So it's uh, quite narrow and it's not the conditions that you would normally uh, yeah, expose the drone to. I'm happy that I didn't destroy it because even though this drone was shipped to me as a review sample, I still want to keep it so I can continue making nice videos for you guys. So. 
So what should we do next? Then uh, drop that in the comments below and I will take a closer look. Also in case you have decided to buy it, then there's of course purchase links in the bottom below. But don't trust me uh, as your only source for information for this uh, purchase. You have to see uh, multiple reviews to make an educated decision. Over here somewhere, there's a playlist with all the videos that have made around this drone. So I hope you like this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a, I can't do that, give it a like. <laughs> if you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.